Hey everyone, if you clicked on this video, you probably are trying to get into video making, specifically on YouTube. In this video, I'm going to show you how to start your own YouTube channel, and more specifically make your YouTube content for as cheaply as possible, but still look pretty good. Now this video is going to mainly focus on Let's Play channels and streaming. Uh, if you want to get into recording your video game playing and commentary, uh, this is the video for you. First thing we're going to talk about today is hardware. This will be the only part that you actually have to spend money on, if you choose to spend money on it. Now I'm assuming that most everybody has a smartphone that can record video. If not, you're going to have to purchase a camera for your face or use your webcam. But I prefer using a phone. Just set it to 1080p, 60 frames per second. and and get a tripod or figure out some other way to lift up your phone or your camera above your computer screen. The next thing to make sure you have are lights. Now, you don't have to use this. You could have a completely dark setting or you can have the lights that are already in your bedroom or wherever you're recording. But to have a more aesthetic effect for your videos, having different colors of lighting does really help. For me, I have three different sources of lighting. I have two ring lights, the ring light right behind my camera, which is illuminating my face. And I have a red ring light over here. Here, I actually have some blue wall lights on my left over here. I got the ring lights from Walmart uh, for $30 each, so um, you can get cheaper ones of course, but uh, that's how much I pay for these specifically. The uh, wall lights came off of like Wish or something, I don't know, I already had them. It's just like a, a sticky string of lights that stick onto your wall. And probably the most expensive part, if you choose not to use your phone audio, my first YouTube videos pretty much had no lights and used my phone audio, so yeah, you get perfectly fine to do that, but uh, to add better sound quality into your videos uh, you're going to pick up a blue yeti these blue yetis for their price are the best on the market that you can get the the sound quality is great and i paid a hundred dollars for this one so it, it, it's a little bit of money but it's not nearly as much as some microphones and it works perfectly I also got an anchor kit on Amazon. I'll link all these in the description. The anchor came with the actual arm, a little foam cover to go on your microphone, and also this this spit guard. Well, not not a spit guard, but like the thing that stops the air from your breath getting to your recording. And that was all about $25, so it's definitely worth it. And that's it for hardware. Now let's move on to software. There are three specific programs I'd like to talk about today, and they are all free. The first program is called OBS Studio. It allows you to record what's on your screen, and also the audio that's coming out of your uh, audio source, whatever that is. In this case, it's my headphones that would be connected to my uh, Blue Yeti. You download this, you set it up to record your display and your audio, and you make sure your audio levels are good. Uh, a lot of Let's Plays will have the actual audio from the game lower than your commentary. I usually keep that at about, I don't know, 50%. And yeah, you just hit start recording, and that starts recording your, uh, your video on your screen. Moving on to the next program, Audacity. You've probably heard of this one. It is recording what's going into your microphone. As you can see right now, uh, it's working. Uh, you're going to want to not talk too loud because in the Blue Yeti, specifically this microphone, uh, you get clipping sometimes if you if you shout too loud. And uh, that clipping is <laughs> not good for anybody. Uh, and it's hard to edit out sometimes. So uh, just talk in a normal voice. And if you're going to scream, get way back here and it doesn't clip as bad. Audacity is an amazing free program and uh, I've been using it for years now. And the third and final program Actually, no, there's four programs, and we'll get to the last one later. The next program is called DaVinci Resolve. DaVinci Resolve is an amazing free editing software program. You can do anything from free effects to color changing to even basically cutting out your body and putting it uh, in different places and animating that. It's a it's an amazing software and it works perfectly for uh, our, our purposes as content creators. And I'll go much more in depth on how to create and use this program in a different video if you guys would like. Once you get to the DaVinci Resolve, you're going to have to line up everything together. So you're going to take your audio from Audacity. You're going to take your um, game audio and your game video from OBS Studio. And then you're going to take your face from your phone, you plug your phone into your computer, and you import that file into, onto your computer, and then you import that into DaVinci Resolve. And from there, you can shrink it down and put it wherever you'd like. Once you've edited your video together, adding sound effects and uh, different other visual effects as well, one thing I can specifically tell you to do is cut out as much fat as possible. What I mean by that is, anytime that you're not talking or dull points in the video or anything that's going to lose your audience's retention or, or lose their interest, cut it out. 
You don't need it in your video. You're trying to entertain people, you're not trying to bore them. And from there, you, you uh, export the video. Once you've exported your video as an MP4 with 60 frames per second and 1920 by 1080 HD, it's just as simple as putting it on YouTube from there. I would suggest strongly using YouTube Studio. YouTube Studio is how you upload your videos much more effectively and quickly. And you can see all your analytics of your videos, like how many views you have, or how many watch hours, how many subscribers you got in the last 28 days. Or you can switch to Lifetime, and you can see uh, how your channel has grown from the very beginning all the way to like right now. One last program I'd like to show you and this is how I make my thumbnails. You can either get this program on Steam for $10 or you can get it even for free actually on their website. The program is called Krita. It is basically the free version of Photoshop and it does everything you could possibly do with Photoshop in a free program. And that's it. That is what I use for hardware and also the four free programs I use to create my YouTube content. If you guys have any questions please feel free to uh, put them in the comments and I will try and help where I can. If you guys would like me to make a video on how to use uh, the DaVinci Resolve program or even the Krita program, let me know and I'll make a video on that if you guys like this video enough. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope this helped you a little bit on uh, your road to creating your own YouTube channel.